If you're getting started learning to code with front-end development, maybe you shouldn't. The new Stack Overflow survey just came out, and of all the different jobs, full stack developers make up 33% of all developers. Back-end developers make up 17%, and front-end developers make up a measly 6%. If you love building visual user experiences, sure, stick with front-end development. But if you like working with systems and data and automation, maybe you should look into back-end development. It's not one or the other. The thing you called out here is the number one job source or the number one employed skill is being a full stack developer. That's a lot like saying the professional football players are the best football players in the world and like they're in the most demand. Well, it's like, obviously, right? They have the most skills. It's the same thing with full stack developers. If you can do more, you are more employable. The reason we say learn front end is because it is the easiest path to learn. It's the easiest path to break in to tech, right? If you're trying to land that first remote tech role and you're trying to break into tech for the first time, you don't want to overwhelm yourself with databases and authentication and all these different backend paradigms that you would otherwise have to learn just to land your first role, right? You want to take the most streamlined path, get that first job, and then you can expand your skill set. You can become a full stack developer. If you want to go strictly back end, you can take that route as well. But if you try to hit that head on from the beginning, odds are you're going to run into some very difficult learning very quickly, and it might burn you out to the point where you just quit. And ultimately, if your goal is to break into tech, to earn a remote six-figure income, that's not what you want. You don't want to burn out, right? You want to take the path that you're going to have success at. And that's, that's why we say you want to learn front-end development.